Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine, I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you a Turning Point USA, who were in Florida yesterday, this is last night. We've got a clip to watch in which Turning Point USA have been barred from having their national conference in the town they are in, in Florida, on the orders of the tyrannical mayor, yet another tyrannical mayor, just like the governors who are deciding entirely arbitrarily, I might add, who can do what and who can't do what. And it's all about the Rona situation, as you can imagine. Now, they are, I don't mean to use the word protest, but that because that's kind of a loaded term, but they essentially protest against it. But the good thing is, if you can call it good, is that it's refreshing to see how many people are now starting to wake up and realize what's happening and they're also starting to question the narrative they're starting to question the status quo which in my opinion is a good thing and for those of you out there who probably thought you're a madman you probably thought that you were the only one thinking it and that you must be therefore be like a kook or something no you're not a lot of people are thinking the same and we're going to see that now but if you haven't yet please like subscribe hit the notification bell and share this video around those things only take a couple of moments there's a subscribe button down below notification bell and a share button retweet it i'm on various platforms that really helps us stay competitive with the likes of cnn and msnbc who want us gone essentially okay let's go Okay, so let's take a look at the happenings in Florida yesterday at what, at what was supposed to be the Turning Point USA convention in Florida. That's right, they do not want you to have a voice. That's why they target people um, seemingly arbitrary, like in New Jersey, the gym owners. They have been targeted into oblivion for daring to question the governor. He made it his personal... He, he made it his business to destroy that gym owner. The same thing happened in Michigan. I don't think it was a gym, it might have been, but I think it was a restaurant in Michigan... Gretchen Whitmer, who seems to be universally despised now, she targeted a business in Michigan. The same thing happened in New York. The same thing happened in California. And these have one thing in common. If it's not a Democrat governor doing it, it's a Democrat mayor in a large urban center doing it. obviously wasn't something I was expecting to do, right? Here's what I can tell you guys, and I don't, I don't speak for every cop in America, but the reality is, 19 years ago, I signed up, I took an oath, every day I don't know if I'm going to come home, because I signed up to put bad people where they need to go. I didn't sign up for what's going on in America today, and my job as a cop is turned upside down. And isn't that the truth? Uh, and I, it's refreshing to see an ex-cop say that. Maybe there's some um, current cops who are serving now who believe that. Certainly hope there are. I know there have been tales of various sheriffs refusing to enact obviously arbitrary and draconian nonsensical orders relating to Rona. But my enthusiasm is dashed by and i'm not sure you saw it if you did if you did not sorry if you go to ezra levan the canadian man a gentleman from canada who runs the rebel news if you go to his feed from yesterday you will see two calgary this is in canada um female cops who arrested a young man and when i say young i mean he's like 
uh, he's in college, I believe, who was skating. He was the, It was all frozen over, and they were playing ice hockey. And they came, and bearing in mind, these are the same police who bent the knee to uh, the usual suspects. I'm sure you know who they bent the knee to, but when it comes to people that look like me playing ice hockey out on the ice, they get snatched up immediately. Okay, Here, that's what I can tell you. I will, I will tell you, yeah. the cops in this nation, most of them have a problem, a significant problem with what's going on. But they're getting their orders from up above. Yeah. And that's where the attention needs to go. Okay, that's where the voice needs to be heard is from the people making these decisions. Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Hey, hey. This, this is action, people. Sitting down. Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? My opinion, my advice, and my opinion on this part would be to cut out the chanting. Um, it's just my opinion, you know, don't get me wrong, I fully support Turning Point USA um, and any grassroots conservative movement, but I'm just saying that chanting does nothing. Chanting, leave the chanting to the SJWs, if you understand. What's up, guys? What's up? Oh my God, we're oh we're my keeping God. up here. You guys see this? This is what they're blocking from inside right here. What do you guys think about this thing blocked from inside? What? Are you a little upset? Where's your leadership? Where are they? Where's Charlie? 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 Crazy wild stuff, guys. We're out here in Florida in West Palm Beach, and we're just having a good time. What's up, guys? We're having a good time out here, but we're being blocked from getting into an event. As you can see, we've got a lot of people here just trying to get into. Uh, they're trying to get into the building. Over six thousand people, from my understanding. What's up, guys? That are out here. But the problem is, is as we try to get in, you can see the line is backed up around the block. There's a problematic issue. They have suddenly changed the uh, capacity for the event. Oh, All right, what do you guys think? They're not letting you oh, in. Okay, no, no, I banged the window until I found an official person and he came to talk to me and I asked what was happening. And he told me that the county like suddenly just changed the rule and they decided that they're not that they can't let anybody else in. But they're working on getting it changed right now. So we should just go back to our hotels in the morning. Hopefully it'll be different. But we can't allow that as people because this is our country, our yes. city, our county. We saying. are the people. And we have to understand that the authoritarian branches, the enforcement, the executive, the police need to realize they don't have power to enforce things that go against our ability to gather as individuals. We have the right to assembly. There is no order but they've given themselves the power that's what you don't understand my friend they've given themselves the power and they enforce it in an entirely arbitrary one direction way you've seen it when the usual suspects tifa and bm when they can all go and do look you're just there as conservatives grassroots conservatives just to hear someone talk entirely free entirely peaceful no problem bm and when they turn up they loot they destroy things they burn things they steal things they attack people but they are allowed to do what they do because trying to stop them is difficult you being grassroots law-abiding peaceful young conservatives are easy to control i'm sorry but that's just the way it is you're easy to control that's why they direct it towards you ordinance or law that prevents us from going in. So while we're told by leadership to stand down, what leadership tells people to stand down in the face of tyranny? We will not stand down. And I think you guys just stay here, you know, do whatever you're gonna do. I actually encourage you, do whatever your conscience encourages you to do, because that's ultimately the most American way to do it. Just do whatever you wanna do. 
But ultimately speaking, we got to pressure, we got to push these people because they're they're asking us to give up our God. It's also the conservative way to do things, the Republican way to do things, in which you live your life and good luck to you. You go and do your thing and I will live my life. The Democrat or the left-wing way seems to be I'm going to control my life, but I'm going to control yours as well. I'm going to live by one set of rules, but force a different set of rules onto you. That's the way they live their lives. That's the way they enforce their doctrine on others. You will notice that left-wing people in general are very um, unsecure about their own belief systems. That's why they cannot allow anyone within 100 miles of them who may challenge their beliefs because they know once their beliefs are challenged they quickly crumble god given rights to assembly to protest you know how many millions of blm people gathered in los angeles in new york even in florida and came together to protest false statistics hundreds of thousands to millions yeah, per city we can we, we stay here right now we just stay here no matter who because we let people know right now i'll tell you this the democrats they want to win they are fighting to win. You can be even... Very good point, young man. Whereas Republicans, and we saw from in Georgia with um, Gabriel Sterling, who's a rhino. He is one of the most died-in-the-wall rhinos there, there is, okay? He was um, saying about Trump when Trump was challenging there. He was saying about Trump, look, be the better man. Be the bigger man. Turn the other cheek. This is the thing. Whilst conservatives and Republicans are obsessed about being the better man and, um, you know, just to turn the other cheek and, you know, oh, we're grown up here, we're the adults here. The Democrats are playing dirty and the Democrats are winning and they're going to always win now because they are never again going to allow another um, po uh, populist candidate to target their swamp. They were panicked by Donald Trump's victory. They didn't have time to do a 2020 in 2016, and they had no inclination because they they didn't they didn't think the public were going to go against them. They were supremely confident in their own brainwashing tactics, so they just didn't do in 2016 what they did in 2020. But this young man's spot on. The Democrats are playing dirty, and they're, they're going to win. We really are. ...constitutional that they changed the rules of, like, right then and there because of this. I I don't know, man. Like, it's crazy. Like, how can they think that they control us when it's actually the power of government controlling the people? It's, it's messed up. It's honestly just messed up. He's on to something here, this young man. Of course, what he... I'm not saying, he, well, no, it's not that he doesn't realise it. Maybe he does realise it, but I'm going to put it a different way to you and to him if he sees this. The establishment politicians, of course Democrats, but the rhino Republicans as well, and that cl includes Mitch. And it's the same here in Britain and other Western countries. Here we have Labour and our, quote, conservatives who are what we call blue liberals or sinos conservatives in name only now what's happened is they have forgotten that they exist to provide the people with prosperity happiness and security and in return we vote them into government and let them do what they like to do what's happened is these establishment politicians who see themselves as an actual elitist class, an actual separate class. What has happened is they see the public as a group of serfs who exist to provide them with influence, money and power. To keep it real, guys, stay safe. All right, I'll see you around. So guys, what we're seeing is, is that the Turning Point USA chapters are being prevented from entering into the facilities based off of preliminary changes of policy that don't exist. And it's quite, it's quite strange, right? What do you think about this? Elijah. 
Again, I apologise about the quality. It's not on my end. I have super fast. It's the recorder, but that's fine. He was going live, and you know, going live can be slow. Now, these are all thousands of bright young conservatives from various different turning point chapters who have turned up and they're being denied entry. It's a shame, an absolute shame. This no, is Turning Point at its finest. Yeah, yeah. No, this event is a disaster. No, this is directly from Turning Point. They're the ones doing this. Exactly. So you've been unregistered from the event for being a part of it because they just randomly said you can't be a part of this. What's well, the code? Please DM me on Instagram, by the way. You'll have a place to hang out. We'll hang out. You're, right. you're, you're good. Don't. Right. Just, this is bullshit. Yeah. You guys, I don't know what's happening here, but I can tell you this. I want you to look at this right here. Yeah, yeah, Elijah Schaefer is slightly offense. Blaze TV as well. So TPUSA said, due to COVID restrictions, you have been unregistered for SAS. Who's spawn? Yes, if you understand. She said, no way, what? They said they sent three different responses. Please respond with yes, if you understand. These are students who are... So they got an automated response saying you have been unregistered because of Rona. Play, reply with yes if you understand. And she replied with no way. <laughs> See, that's the American spirit. That's the Republican spirit um, on full display. It's a conservative spirit. So, just to finish this video, that's Elijah Schaefer, by the way, excellent reporter, uh, not mainstream media, of course, I should, I should imagine most of you know this, uh, subscribe to him, follow him on Twitter, I certainly do, and he's out there, bearing in mind, with all of the people who've turned up from Turning Point USA's grassroots chapters, they're all young conservatives, they've all turned up to be allowed in, now Charlie, Charlie Kirk from what is being said here has refused to come out and address them and stand up for them by the way i'm not necessarily not necessarily knocking charlie kirk i like him as well i'm just saying that what's needed now more than ever is courage instead of just going along with the flow i would suggest to the people inside that building you come out and as you've heard from what a lot of the people have said they're saying look why aren't people coming out now i wouldn't be able to do that if I knew that an, an event I'd put together was happening and that thousands of the people who had turned up to support us were locked outside and weren't allowed in, then I would go outside. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I just said, I'll lock the doors and we'll do, what our, do our little thing in here with the 500 people that's in here. Those thousands of people, students, they're, they're the future of the conservative movement, have came here to support you. But anyway, I will leave it there. Let me know what you guys think of Turning Point USA. Let me know what you guys think of the young conservative movement. Are you a young conservative? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and share this video around. It only takes a few moments to do that and it really helps this channel grow helps us stay competitive with the mainstream media the likes of cnn and msnbc who will destroy us if they can and they're trying thank you very much i'll see you in the next one goodbye